This is an X field detector keychain, and these devices are important when trying to use readers like this with implantable transponders, specifically X series transponders. So an X series transponder looks like this. This is a small tube shaped device, and inside there are small coils that are the antenna coils. This is a next, so there are two antenna coils, one for high frequency and one for low frequency. This is the high frequency version of the keychain. We have two versions, one for low frequency and one for high frequency. When you're using a reader like this, it's important to be able to find out where the antenna structure is inside the reader. Because when you present a card, something like this, when you present that card, the antenna in the card matches fairly accurately the shape of the antenna in the reader. So you get a very easy to use device, you just tap just like that. Pretty much anywhere close will get a good read, even over here. But when it comes to very small devices like this with very small cylindrical coil antennas, it's much more difficult. And what you need to do is present this device perpendicular to the antenna that's inside the reader. And that looks something like this. So you'll notice that when I present the device, there's no chip inside, so the reader doesn't beep, but it lights up and I know the antenna is here. So I'm going perpendicular to the antenna and I can see the LED light up. But if I go away from that antenna, the LED stops flashing. Likewise, if I present this not perpendicular, but parallel to the antenna, you'll see that the LED doesn't light. There's no flashing. It has to be perpendicular. So again, if the antenna is a rectangle, then I can presume to be able to present this device this way here, and we can see the LED does in fact light up. So this device is very important to be able to tell how, not only the location on the reader, but what orientation on the reader you should present your X-series implantable device to that specific reader. This also applies to smartphones, being able to find on the phone where exactly the best place, position, and orientation to present the phone and your implant together to get a good read. So I'll give a demonstration here using this device. If I place it in the center, I don't get a read, but if I place it perpendicular to this antenna, I will. So you can see how useful this device can be to tell you how and where to present your implantable device to a reader.